right, welcome to the first video of round three of the water comparison series. We have these two bottles tonight. First up, we have Penta Ultra Purified H2O. And we have Raw Water. These are both pretty big bottles. Raw Water is one and a half liters. Penta is one liters. So this is a lot of water to drink tonight, sort of. Raw Water is from Maine. It's from a natural spring. The water just bubbles up from the ground through like dirt and sand and just, is just naturally purified. And raw water is pretty expensive. If you buy a case of it and have it shipped to you, it's about five dollars per bottle because a big part of that cost is shipping, but it's, it's pretty expensive water, five dollars for this. Penta is from Whole Foods. It's about a dollar twenty-nine and it has a patented process. They say it has a 13-step process, which takes about 11 hours. And this is from California. So if you want more info on these, watch the previous videos, the first two rounds. I've already talked about these a lot. I don't really have a whole lot else to say about them. So let's just start with the, um, the comparison, see which one tastes better. Really good tasting water. Let me see if the lid fits on here because they look like similar lids. Yeah, it fits on there. Penta lid fits on the raw water bottle. Yep, so about the same size lid. Pretty good. Um, all the all the bottle, bottles of water that make it to round three are going to be pretty good. Like none of them are going to be awful. Um, let's take a look at the Amazon reviews of these bottles. These are both on Amazon. So raw water. The lowest rating for raw water is four stars. And the people's biggest complaints for raw water are that um, it's expensive, which I completely understand that. And they say, they complain that it's not in a glass bottle. They say they don't like plastic. So four stars is the lowest for raw water. Um, there are actually, this is made by Summit Springs. And Summit Springs has other bottles of water that they sell, which only have five star reviews. They don't have a single rating below that, below five stars, which is pretty amazing. It's really good water. Just bubbles out of the ground. It's pretty crazy. Now let's take a look at the reviews for Penta. Now granite. <laughs> Penta sells a lot more. Um, they have a lot more reviews. So um, the the average review for these are actually the same. The average review is four and a half out of five stars. So they're they're both pretty good on Amazon. But Penta does have some one star reviews. People complain that the bottles are dirty. And people complain, they say it has a weird taste. And some of the reviews just say that UPS did a bad job shipping it, which is, you shouldn't give a five, I mean, you shouldn't give a one-star review on Amazon because the UPS screwed up something. Um, but people do say it has a weird taste. And um, this one person says they've been buying Penta as their only water for several years. And then they just got a bad batch of it one time. So they gave it a one-star review. It seems a little unfair to me. You know, if, if, if you've been buying it for years, it can't be that bad. This person starts the review just calling Penta. They call it terrible water. 
um, which I disagree with. I don't think it's terrible. It's not taste terrible to me. This person starts the review saying, do not recommend at all. They say dirty bo the dirty bottles. Water had an odd taste. Not exactly what I would expect from a company that brags about um, their water filtration. Maybe they need to clean out the rest of uh, the manufacturing process because the bottle was surprisingly dirty. Not cool, Penta. Not cool. It's a review on Amazon. There's also another video I want to point out uh, on YouTube. It's the YouTube user is Alkaline Water Plus, and the YouTube video is called 20 Brands of Water Tested for pH. And out of the 20 bottles of water they tested for the pH level, they said that Penta <laughs> was the worst. Um, they said it had the worst pH level. Uh, some people believe that humans shouldn't have acidic water, that uh, water with a natural pH level that matches the human body is good for humans to drink. Uh, so this woman says that this one is the worst out of all, all the bottles she tested. She does 20 of them. So this is a lot of water, and like, normally, you know, if you drink a ton of water, normally, like, you feel kind of sick afterwards. That's never been a case for um, raw water. I've had at least, at least 10 of these bottles for, you know, drinking at one time, and I never feel bad after drinking raw water. Um, it's a lot of water. Yeah, they both taste good to me. Of course, my uh, opinion is subjective. It might be different from yours, too. It's okay, we're almost done. So you're all wondering <laughs> which one's going to make it on to round four. And the winner is raw water for this round. Um, just tastes, just tastes better. Um, Penta is good. It's got no BPA in the bottle. It's ultra purified. It's got that patented process. Doesn't match, doesn't match up to raw water. Raw water just has a great, great taste to it. Perfect amount of minerals. Thanks for watching, everyone.